The name Lavoisier is very famous. You will probably refer this to the famous French chemist Antoine Lavoisier, often known as the father of modern chemistry. However, unlike most scientists' pictures, this picture of Lavoisier has been looking away. The full picture looks like this. This is his wife, Marie Anne Paul Lavoisier, the unsung hero of science of this video. She significantly contributed to chemistry in the late 1700s. Without her, chemistry may still be alchemy. Her job as the assistant and translator of Antoine Lavoisier is often underestimated. Mary M. mastered French, Latin, and English. With this amazing ability, she, after she married Antoine at the age of 13, she translated the latest scientific advances for the French Academia and did literature research for her husband. She held one of Paris's most influential salons where politics, literature, and science were discussed. She hosted visitors including Benjamin Franklin and James Watt. The British scientist Priestley shared his findings with Mary Anne at the salon, which she translated for her husband. This enabled Lavoisier to dispute the fluorescent theory, discover the element oxygen, state the constant mass law, write the first ever chemistry textbook, hence opened a new chapter of modern chemistry. Being her husband's lab partner was a demanding job. She did it with great precision. She was in charge of recording all the data and writing reports. She also drew illustrations of their experiments, vividly showing us what was happening in their lab. Her sketches are even better than photos since they even include details of each individual component of an apparatus. Mary Ann broke the stereotypical domestic role of women at the time and showed us how females can be equally intelligent and contribute to science. She can be thought as the first ever female chemist. It was her ability and actions that made these scientific discoveries possible. Also shout out to her husband for giving her the opportunity and allowed her to show her potentials. Her name shouldn't be unsung due to her female identity in the 1700s patriarchal society.